Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can customize a product add-on on your Squarespace website. A relatively new feature, we can now use a product add-on block to promote additional products on an individual product page. Unfortunately, we can't do a lot with the design of that product using the site styles menu. So in this tutorial, I'll be sharing some custom CSS codes that I've created so we can modify the way that product add-on looks. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but as I'm sure you can imagine, we've got a lot to customize, so I'll go ahead and share my screen and teach you exactly how to use them. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace and we're on a product page where I have three featured add-on products. These are what we're going to customize with CSS, and as always, the code is listed in the description below. To add this code to our website, I'm going to navigate to Pages, and then we'll select Website Tools and then Custom CSS. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to remove this automatic border that goes around the entire product. I'm going to paste this code right here and we'll go ahead and say Border None. And instantly, it goes away. Now, if you do want to keep the border but maybe change up the background a little bit, we can do that too with this same selector. Here we can actually say Background and let's change it to a solid white. There we go. Now we have that border reinstated and there's a background to it. Now, one of my favorite things to code in Squarespace are hover effects, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll use that same selector, but we're going to add the text hover, so this code will only apply when we hover over the add-on card. Now let's change the background color again. I'm going to change it to a light shade of blue that I like, and check it out, we've got a cool hover effect. All right, there are a few more things we're going to customize with CSS. You don't have to apply these to your site, but they could be cool styles that you might like. The first thing I'm going to do is add a border radius to this top code right here, and I'll show you what that does. When I add a border radius of 50 px, it's going to curve in the corners, so it more closely matches this button style at the end. Now the image itself is still a square, and I want to make that round as well. So I'm going to add a new line of code. Right after add on card, I'm going to say add on thumbnail. Now we can open up our curly brackets, and let's say border radius 50%. And now that thumbnail will become a perfectly round shape. If I spell radius correctly, there we go. Now it's perfectly round. All right, it's still a little bit small, so let's go ahead and increase the size of it too. I'm gonna go ahead and say transform scale 1.2, and that's going to increase the size of that image. I love it. All right, we just did a lot, so let's recap here really quickly. This first part of the code changes the background color for the item. Adjust this value so that it matches whatever color you want to see. After that, we curve the corners of the border radius. You can totally remove that code and you'll go back to those 90 degree corners. The code after that creates the hover effect that changes up the background color of the item when I hover over it with my cursor. And then last but not least, we went ahead and took the square image and made it a circle and made it a little bit larger with transform scale. If you remove this part of the code, you'll see it goes back to that square shape that it was before. Now there's one last code that I'd like to share with you, and that's to change the actual title of this additional item. For that, we'll add a new line of code and I'll open up a curly bracket. Here I'll say font weight bold, and let's go ahead and reduce the space underneath it by saying margin bottom zero PX important. There we go. Now we've reduced the space between the title and the price, and it looks a little bit more clickable. Because this item is a clickable title, we can also add an underline to make it really obvious that it can be clicked on. To do that, add a semicolon and say text decoration underline. And now it's very clear that you can click on this item and it will take you to the new page all about that specific product. I'll go ahead and select save. We'll navigate back to the product we were at before. And one last time scrolling down here, what we've done is we've given it a background color, a border radius to curve in the corners. We gave it a different background color on a hover. We changed the square thumbnail into a round shape and we made it a little bit larger. And we adjusted the font for the add-on product title to be bold, to not have a lot of space between it and the price, and to give it an underline so it's obvious that it's clickable. Underneath this video, I've listed all the codes that we use to create those effects inside Squarespace, including that hover effect. And I've also linked to related resources. So if you enjoyed this tutorial and these codes, definitely check those out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. 
I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.